Greetings everybody, Pastor David here as promised. We're going to take a look at the pre-tribulation rapture. As I stated, I get many, many uh, personal messages and comments asking me what will take place during the pre-tribulation rapture in regards to airplanes, personal vehicles, buses, trains, when the rapture occurs and the pilots of the planes, the drivers of the vehicles, the drivers of the buses and the conductors of the trains. If they get raptured, will trains collide with other trains? Will buses crash? Will vehicles get run off the road when a driver is taken up and raptured? If the pilot of a commercial plane or a private plane is raptured and they're saved, will the plane crash to the ground? And to find that answer, we're going to have to go to the Word of God, the Holy Bible, and to the book of Revelation. And, now, I, like I stated, I, I worked midnight, so I've been up all night, had a slow night, and I've been studying the book of uh, Revelation, and I think I have more solid proof for the pre-tribulation rapture. Now, I also mentioned that Vic Hockey, 34, a viewer and a subscriber of mine, got a video out, and then, uh, he got the information from a video by Paul Begley, 34, Pastor Paul Begley, and it is amazing um, discovery here every 188 days there is an earthquake um, the Chile earthquake 188 days later Christ Church New Zealand 188 days after that the earthquake in Japan and it's forming a square now Thursday two days from now the 15th is the next 188 day cycle and will this earthquake looks like it's going to hit the United States could be on to something we're going to have to watch and see what takes place on the 15th. That's two days from now. But to give you the answer to what takes place during the rapture, we do have to look at uh, the segment that uh, Pastor Begley talks about uh, where the angels are holding back the four corners, the winds from the four corners of the earth. I don't see this lining up as Bible prophecy because it's kind of like trying to put a square peg in a round hole. And we're going to get into that. But it's an amazing discovery. Nonetheless, we have to watch and see what takes place on the 15th. Bible prophecy, I don't think it really fits, but we're going to discuss all that. We're going to see. Does it fit? Doesn't fit? Does it fit or doesn't fit? I'm tired. Worked all night. So, to answer your question, what will take place during the rapture? Something of a great magnitude will take place first. And I believe we find that in the book of Revelation a great earthquake, something of a great magnitude that will stop mass transit altogether. Flights will not be going in and out. We may even have martial law implicated. Um, I don't think we'll be driving vehicles. It'll be um, a worldwide catastrophic event just prior to the rapture of the church. Now to find the answer, let's go to the book of Revelation. I hope I can do this in one part, if not way of part two. We're going to begin with the Revelation. I know, I know that the first four seals have been opened. I'm going to show you right where I believe we are right now. And more proof for pre-tribulation rapture, all in the mix. I want to direct you to Revelation, the book of Revelation uh, 6, 9. When he opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of those who had been slain because of the word of God and the testimony they had maintained. They called out in a loud voice, How long, Sovereign Lord, holy and true, until you judge the inhabitants of the earth and avenge our blood? Then each of them was given a white robe, and they were told to wait a little longer until the number of their fellow servants and brothers who were to be killed as they had been was completed now this is very important because here we go and here's where I believe leads us in to the rapture of the church we're at um, the sixth seal now I watched as he opened the sixth seal there was a great earthquake the Sun turned black like sackcloth made of goat hair the whole moon turned blood red and the stars in the sky fell to the earth as late figs drop from a fig tree when shaken by a strong wind 
The sky receded like a scroll, rolling up, and every mountain and island was removed from its place. Then the kings of the earth, the princes, the generals, the rich, the mighty, and, even, and every slave, and every free man hid in caves among the rocks of the mountains. They called to the mountains and the rocks, Fall on us and hide us from the face of him who sits on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. For the great day of their wrath has come, and who can stand? I believe this is the event. That's my belief by studying the scripture. This is the event just prior to the rapture of the church. Let me carry on. 144,000 sealed. Right after this, remember the book of Revelation is in perfect chronological order. Understand our Heavenly Father is flawless. He is um, precision at its finest. I, he doesn't leave any loose ends. He is the great architect, the great designer with the master plan. He is not going to let pilots just uh, be raptured and planes crash to the ground. Some major event, I believe, earthquake stars falling from the sky, as I just read, will take place prior to the rapture of the church. And keep an eye on the time. 144,000 sealed. This happens right after this catastrophic worldwide event, earthquake, where mountains are moved out of their places. Stars fall from the sky. After this, I saw four angels standing at the four corners of the earth. Now we're getting into that 188 uh, day cycle of earthquakes. And this is where I'm going to try to show it. I just don't see it in the book of Revelation as prophecy. But it's amazing nonetheless. After this great earthquake, this shaking, the mountains being moved, um, I saw four angels standing at the four corners of the earth, holding back the four winds of the earth to prevent any wind from blowing on the land or on the sea or on any tree. Let me stop right there. you got to think back when John had this vision. This was long, uh, way, way, way before we discovered the earth was round. He sees the vision. He sees it correctly. He sees four angels standing in four corners. But instead of corners, I believe what he's seen is directions of north, south, east, and west. I believe instead of four corners, that what he actually was seeing was um, direction. An angel to the north, an angel to the south, an angel to the east and an angel to the west and if you put a line and draw these together you have the cross I believe that's what John seen not that he seen not that he was mistaken and a lot of people say well the Bible's not true because he's talking about four corners and we know the earth is round I believe what he actually seen was north south east and west an angel standing on each uh, each of the directions let me carry on um, then I saw another angel coming up from the east, having the seal of the living God. He called out in a loud voice to the four angels who had been given power to harm the land and the sea. Do not harm the land or the sea or the trees until we put a seal on the foreheads of the servants of our God. Then I heard the number of those who were sealed, 144,000 from all the tribes of Israel. This is why I don't believe the uh, earthquakes are connected with uh, the angels holding back the four corners uh, of the of the earth, the winds. We know it's not four corners. It's four directions. I'm running out of time. We have to do part two. And we know there was a major, major, major catastrophic earthquake where mountains were moved out of place before the angels held off the winds from the four corners of the earth with four directions. Stay with me, because it's going to get a lot more interesting. I'm tired. I've been up all night, but we're going, to, we're going to shoot for part two. Leave comments on part one. Let me know what you think so far. God bless everybody.